Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex with the Kirby's. Thank you for joining us on this episode today. And we're only two weeks away from moving in, so we're getting close to being done and moved into our barn dominium. Got some stuff to show you. This is our tile for our shower. I'm showing you this because that's the phase we're on. In the next 48 hours, they're going to be doing our shower tiling. We're really excited about it. I never would have known how heavy this stuff was until I had to lug 30 boxes of it in our house, which is in there right now, and my back hurts. So we are doing this on the side of the shower, this on the ground, and we're doing something in the middle that I don't know what it is. Faith is the mastermind behind the design. So anyways, our stuff's in, they're doing it tomorrow. I wanna show you guys some updates inside. They've got the house primed and ready to go. We're getting the trim done right now. A great crew of guys is here doing that as well. And we're getting really close. We just bought appliances. We just bought light fixtures and faucets and all that stuff. And so really looking forward to showing you guys the finished product here in a couple weeks. But there's a lot of little things that now start to go on. You know, a lot of the big projects that take hands full of guys and just takes a few days at a time, uh, not a ton of detail are done. Now we're moving on to the small detail stuff. So one of the biggest things that you might notice from last episode to this one is we've gotten everything primed and ready to go. They are, they've already dropped the paint. The paint is in the rooms prospectively of where they're gonna be doing it. We got to choose three colors um, with our allowances and budgets. So we got three colors going in here in the next couple days. They've gotten it primed, ready to go. They've got it cut out. So what's going on right now, the trim guys are out here taking their lunch break. But what they'll do is they'll come in and trim out the doors and the windows. That way we can get ready for paint. So in the next um, three or four days, they're gonna be doing the paint, which is really exciting. Um, if you wanna look down at the floor, we are actually doing a stained concrete uh, for our floors. So one of the things that um, you guys might wanna think about when you're choosing your flooring is, is it possible to stain? For us, we're gonna sand it, and I have a, a friend, thankfully, who is really good at staining concrete. Over here, we've got all our doors. They just came in yesterday. And we had eight choices and options of doors. We went with this two square, um, one rectangle, one square panel type door. Um, and we are gonna paint all our doors. So they've put in a couple in so far uh, for the entrances to the house, but they haven't done the doorways for the bedrooms and bathrooms. So this is all of them here. I think it's four. Uh, we've got four more doors or five with the closet, excuse me. A couple things that people have asked me since the last couple videos. Um, one, was it really difficult for permits for a building like this? For us it wasn't. We have this as a residential house, just like you would build a stick-built house. So permitting was the exact same it would be for a stick-built house. So that's an answer to a question we got on the last video. Um, and the second one was, was I nervous about doing this when you haven't really seen anybody else do it uh, that you may know? For me, we weren't nervous. We knew, um, we have a really reputable company here in our town. And then I knew I had a great contractor. And so I would say those are the two things. I wouldn't be as comfortable, a lot of you guys on YouTube have been saying, where can you buy the kit? And which is, if you don't know a Barnuminium, a kit is where you can buy online and do it yourself. I personally don't feel comfortable ordering a kit because again, I don't know the company and, and they're not driving distance from where I'm building my house. Um, I like that connection. So my advice would be have a contractor and a building place close to you within driving distance a couple hours uh, to do your barn dominium. So uh, that's kind of the big things going on in the house uh, today and in this episode. Um, we're gonna be showing you a few other things too on the outside. My second building um, is going really well. It'll be done in the next few days, my, our shop. Uh, concrete's going in early next week as well. And then uh, the landscaping is almost done. We're planting some more trees. Um, I just got a great deal at uh, my local landscape supply on some overstock trees. And our driveway is almost done. They got it scraped and it's almost compacted and good to go. So what I want to show you on this second building that we're building is just the big and the, the size of the doors. We're doing 12 by 14 doors, two roll ups. They're gonna be black instead of white, which is pretty unique. Uh, they actually said they had never done black doors. So this is the first time they're doing that. And it's gonna house all of our equipment for my house. So a tractor, a mower, uh, camper, hopefully. Uh, things like that. So you can see just from sheer size, it's going to be a really tall building um, and it's going to be right under 2,000 square feet. So if you're looking at doing a barn dominium or shop, again, contact us. We'll connect you with the people doing this one. And uh, thanks so much for watching.